Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you. 10 December to Thursday here, ECB today. Uh, we got some sterling releases in about 90 minutes, which don't really mean diddly. Uh, but focus will be on the ECB today to see if they um, increase QE bring out the big guns, uh, do what they think they need to do to help the overall economy. I, I still uh, don't really understand um, what their thought process is too well, so we're just going to trade price today. I don't really have a jump on what Euro is going to do. Obviously, if they increase QE, knee-jerk will be lower. Um, but, I don't know, it's pushing on a string at this point. Like, how much more QE can you possibly fucking do? So, anyway, let's look at the Euro chart. We've had these higher lows now. This is the four-hour chart since this 121.76. We did get that little clean-out down to 58 that we'd been talking about yesterday. We were like, are we going to get a clean-out? Uh, and we didn't know the answer to that. We didn't really participate in this trade. Um... But here we are back at 121. I don't think a lot's going to happen until um, Lagarde speaks. In fact, I think the press conference is going to be more important than the policy statement. But of course, the policy statement will have details about QE. So 145 is the release. 230 is the press conference. On your toes. Um, Let's, of course, see where Eurodollar is going into that release, uh, and then we can get a better grip on what the trade is going to be. Cable, time to buy low ones again. Um, I don't know what happened with Boris last night. I'm just so sick of the news. I don't even, I don't even listen to it anymore. Um, you just want to buy low ones in Sterling. This is going to get done at the last minute. Um, and it feels like these peacocks are just pretending that this is a really hard puzzle to solve. Um, when effectively, it's not really a hard puzzle to solve at all. But they have their constituents. Um, and they have to make it, they have to pretend that this is like, you know, some crazy uh, math problem that no one's ever solved before. Fuck's sake, it's a trade deal. Get over it. Move on. Uh, we do think this is going to be done. So we're trying to buy low ones. Uh, we did not get given. Um, last night we had some bids uh, even below 133. It's tricky, right? Because <laughs> you're wearing a lot of all on, on in, this, in this cable trade. But you want to try and buy low ones. Maybe this uptrend line is something you can lean on. Uh, 132.80 but it's not really technically driven this right it's just when are they gonna you know make the fudge um, god bunch of fucking clowns anyway trying to buy low ones in cable uh, dollar swiss not much going on <clears throat> we're just waiting uh, to see where euro is going to go to see what dollar swiss is going to do euro swiss cont continues to be offered 107.50 uh, really looks like year-end hedging in Euro Swiss, um, but I don't know what it is. I mean, maybe could be a bit of a risk-off harbinger. I don't know. Uh, but dollar Swiss will just be reflected in where Euro dollar goes today. Dollar yen not doing jack shit. Um, One hundred four seventy-five or. 10370 these are two levels where money can be made let's keep an eye on those levels uh here at 40 i don't know she looks like she wants to go higher right now but um who knows dollar yens dollar yens are cuck these days um euro yen nobody cares let's look at dollar max this is interesting now back through 20 uh we'll kill this downtrend so if you are playing the short side and selling high ones, um, you're going to kill this through 20. If we do get a dollar squeeze, uh, this is an interesting level. 20 double O. Ring the bell. 
Those are at a little bit of a doji yesterday. Traded up to 06. All the way back down to 88 and a half today. We'll see if we can get a green bar today. Um, I'm not really sure why this is here because this FTC news with Facebook uh, should put a little bit of a clink in the uh, on the risk metrics. We really need to clear 1510 before we can get any kind of bullish uh, momentum going. So 1510 is your bingo. 20 double O is the bingo in dollar max until you get through those levels you can't really commit to any kind of longs and in fact you probably want to remain short Aussie down to 20 um, 24 weird right we bought through 50 yesterday we're playing on the long side um, all the way down to 24 and now back up to 75 that's a tricky same same thing as here, right? Big down and big up. Big up, big down, big up again. Kind of reminds me of the cable chart. What does that mean when you see a chart like this? It's like a battle, right? You got conviction shorts fighting conviction longs. Um, the longs are winning. It's not really the most useful line. But again, got to keep your eye on this ES chart um, to see what happens. This is your this is your bang FTC moment. Took us down through this 90 pivot all the way down to 58. Don't want to get like all crazy bearish. Um, it's unclear what the FTC is going to do to Facebook. Are they going to have to divest uh, Instagram and and uh, WhatsApp. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm certainly not rooting for Facebook. I don't belong to Facebook. I despise. I despise everything that Facebook does and is. Um, so in that sense, I don't. It's not like I'm happy, but I'm certainly not sad. Uh, let's put it that way. Is this going to be? Um, is this going to get ahead of steam? Is this going to create worries? I don't know. We got the Airbnb IPO today. That should have some um, creative, more of a buoyant move mood. Uh, I would say that if it goes badly, which I don't, I don't think it will. Um, that would be a pretty big negative. That would surprise a lot of people. Um, so let's watch this uh, Airbnb IPO. Those of you who were alive for the Facebook IPO, I think, I don't know, 2012 or something, 2011, opened at uh, 36 bucks, traded up to 40, and then collapsed. Um, you wonder if this were in, got to watch out for something like that today, and this will, this will add to um, the negativity. This level down here, really 3640 should be support first time daily close below that and um, we're in that we could be in for some trouble not convinced yet one down day after like a million up days no big deal we did not bearish engulf we could have we didn't um, but I don't know definitely looking at downside uh, with interest today. We'll see how this uh, IPO goes. Gold. Somebody smacked the pony yesterday in gold. Where is that fucker? Boom. What's up with that? No idea. 75 down to 28. No dog in this fight right now. We did not buy this dip. Don't really know what to do with this. That is one heck of a bearish bar. Um, 50 bucks, top to toe. That's pretty bearish. Not really sure what to do with that. <clears throat> Careful if you're long gold, uh, is all I can say for now. We're not really sure where to go with that. Let's go to ZB, more of something we're a little more comfortable with. Uh, still selling high ones here. Uh, we like rates higher. 
waiting for this uh, possible break of 176 uh, and possible break of 1% maybe at the end of the year here. Um, that's of interest to us. And finally, Bitcoin uh, down to 17.6. We talked about this Mt. Gox news. This looks like she's turning a little bit, but um, you know, you want to just stay core long. You've reduced up here surely between <clears throat> between 18 and 20,000, um, and then you put your hope bids. I don't know, down at 12.5 in case. In case the whales come in and start selling, in case the Chinese government, who's like confiscated $4 billion worth of Bitcoin, decides to smack the pony. Um, all sorts of weird shit can happen in this market. Uh, so, I don't know. Looks like she's turning though, so be careful uh, in Bitcoin. Anyway, waiting for the ECB now. Um, oh yeah, wait. Euro Aussie chart. Looks pretty interesting. Not sure what the hell is going to drive this, but get a lot of lows down here, 161 and a quarter. It's an interesting chart, just a standalone technical chart. I have no idea what the story is. I guess if the ECB um, is mega bearish or mega dovish um, and equities are through the roof, this could be your horse. Keep an eye on 161 and a quarter. That's uh, it's an interesting chart. Oh yeah, one more interesting chart. Dollar China. Has this fucker turned? That's a weird bar, right? Sort of a pivot here. 654.30. You'll see some guys from Privateer fucking around at that level today. Um, dollar China. This would mean that euro dollar is lower. This would mean that the dollar sell trade is perhaps over. I don't know. It's come a long way, this chart, though, hasn't it, right? 720 to 650. We're thinking change in trend if we get up through 654 and a half. So keep an eye on that, people. Anyway, good luck out there, people. Uh, talk to you tomorrow. Ciao, 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 ciao.